Okay, so I've received an email uh, notifying me that the Bill Stein valving menu, manual um, is hard to come by or has disappeared from links online. So I'd like to take the time to make this video to show a valving manual that can help you guys when you are revalving your coilovers or struts, shocks, um, using a Bill Stein piston. So I'm going to go ahead and show that. Give me a second here, all right? Okay, so what I have here is that valving manual that will assist you in revalving Bill Stein pistons um, within your shocks and struts and coilovers. Um, Bill Stein piston 699, I believe, this manual will be most effective with. I think it can also work for the Bill Stein COB um, bypass, COB piston as well. But yeah, the 699 is the key piston. So here we go. Hope this helps you all.
this page is just this page is just an example to kind of give you an idea of the syntax of what is to come. What's shown here um, will coincide and work with what was written in the do-it-yourself shock reload post that was put on Club Lexus parts one, two, and three. Clublexus.com. If you Google do-it-yourself shock reval from Clublexus.com, the pages here will assist you. Um, with the information that's listed there and how to calculate and find what you're trying to achieve.
keep in mind, all that's been shown so far are linear profiles for your linear shock profiles, not digressive, linear. And if you're not sure the difference between linear and digressive, please read the do-it-yourself shock revalve tutorial written on clublexus.com parts one, two, and three. There's a lot of information detailed in there and it breaks it down in layman's terms, even with mathematics too. Now we're getting into digressive. If you notice, digressive right here. I guess this is some special piston. I can't really say. I'm not too sure what the GNA notation is. Um, but yeah. I know I've been in hiatus for a while, but I got a lot of, a few more videos to upload and such. and ideas to put up on YouTube for you guys. So please understand and bear with me. I have a real life <laughs> to live as well. Kind of as explained here, there's also another diagram in red and blue colors that I hand drew, which is similar to this on clublexus.com, which illustrates the difference between digressive and linear towards the end in that tutorial. This is a little something I found uh, online got a heads up on another form I want to say it was a Mazda Miata form um, where
where this was shown there. So this may help those out there who are interested in getting into revalving your Bilston uh, pistons. If you ask me, buy Bilstein. Bilstein, Bilstein, buy Bilstein. Yeah, they make some pretty darn good products. And if you, my opinion, if I had to rate them, granted I haven't had any of the top-notch Moton or uh, any of these high-end $15,000 setups, but in my opinion, just looking at overall, I think Bill Stein's right on, right up there with him, pound for pound. So if you can, buy Bill Stein pistons, man. Highly recommend it. Just my opinion. Also as well, um, this is a, another page. The first one was linear. This is the digressive build guide setup for a digressive Bill Stein piston. Kind of gives you an idea and some insight into how, go, how to go about um, setting up your Bilstein piston. Bilstein digressive piston. Yeah, so I hope this helps. I also, this also came um, online via, I forgot who told me, a tip by somebody on a message board saying, hey, come check out the Mazda Miata uh, message board. And there it was in its, in, in its fullness and entirety. Oh, and as you can see, CLB means compression only bypass, for those that don't know. So that Bilstein CLB piston means the Bilstein compression only bypass piston. But you can actually remove that spring plate, check plate, whatever you want to call it, and turn it into a standard um, normal digressive piston without the CLB um, issue or aspect of it. All right.